Hey guys, what's up? So it's been 9 months since the release of the iPhone XR. It was released alongside the iPhone XS and the XS Max. After using it for a couple of months, you get a better idea of what went well about the device and what other things you should know from your experience. This is an iPhone XR review from a person who has used Android in the past and personally loves stock Android Pixel phones. This is my first iPhone review so far. So without any further ado, let's get right on it. So this is the iPhone XR. Firstly, let's talk about the build. So iPhone XR is built differently than its bigger brothers, the XS and the XS Max. Even if it looks similar in design, iPhone XR has anodized aluminum sides and the back is glass which is saturated and bright. The side rails though are less saturated than the back. It is just as familiar as the new gen iPhones with all that face ID system and camera sensors housed in that big notch. It's running iOS 12 and it has that familiar area of icons like other iPhones and then the size. It's fine in my hand but yes, it's harder for me to reach the top corners of the display because the 6.1 inch display is big. The phone supports wireless charging and it has IP67 water resistant rating. It definitely feels slipperier in the hand so I would recommend a case or a skin. Then there's the display. This is the biggest difference versus the iPhone XS. This is why XR costs less than XS and this is the most controversial part of the phone. iPhone XR has a LCD display which they are calling it liquid retina. If you go on numbers which are 1792 by 828 with the pixel density of 326 pixels per inch. Yes, it's less than 1080p, so you cannot watch a full 1080p video. Of course, there's an option of 1080p, but it's a downscale version of it. And also, you don't get 3D touch, unlike its fellow Apple gang. You do get haptic touch or long press in the control center or in the lock screen. I don't know how many people use 3D touch that much. There's a true tone mode available. I don't use it either. Then the panel has decent contrast ratio. Watching videos on this display is fine. Of course you will not get the pitch blacks of an OLED panel. But if you are not pixel peeping people unlike me, you will not notice any big difference in the display quality against the XS. But the thing you will notice is that the side bezels are quite thick and they are noticeable. You do get used to it once you will use the phone for a while. So sure this is an area in which Apple cuts the cost of the iPhone XR to make it cheaper than the others. So you have to be okay with all the displays things if you want to buy this. Then let's talk about performance. iPhone XR is powered by A12 Bionic chip which is the same chip as in the XS and the XS Max. It is just as fast as you expect it to be. It has 3 gigs of RAM and the RAM management is also good thanks to a low resolution display. The processor is pushing way less pixels and also the PUBG performance is great. It can run on HDR settings smoothly without any frame drops. Then the battery is 2942 mAh which is good again because of the low res display. It may be the best part of this phone. Then lastly the camera on iPhone XR which is the same as the primary camera on the XS. The camera has smart HDR which means dynamic range is good. There is no telephoto lens so you don't get optical 2x zoom unlike in XS. Then speaking of that portrait mode which works only for people and not for objects. Missing of the telephoto means it's doing portrait shots with the software but it cannot do portrait shots for objects. So sorry Mr. Far From Home, no portrait shots for you. Dude. I don't understand why is it so because Pixel phones do portrait mode also with software and you can take portrait shot of anything. Besides that the photos from this camera are bright with nice contrast. The Smart HDR is working well on this device. Like in this shot, the background and the foreground is exposed evenly and the colors are popping well. But one thing which is consistent in all of these photos is that it's blowing off highlights more than it should be. Rest, it's a good camera which produces sharp, punchy and saturated photos. The color size is pretty good too. Also it shoots 4K video at 60fps. If you are into shooting videos with a smartphone, then you should buy this. So all the points above have added up to the iPhone XR review for 60,000 Indian rupees which is not budget by any means. The downsides with this phone are the display and the camera. That is why it's hard to recommend. But for iPhone users who are willing to upgrade from older iPhones 6s, 7 plus or even iPhone 8, this is a good upgrade for them. 
so that is it for this review hit the like button if you guys enjoyed and leave a comment would you buy this phone and also subscribe if you haven't already and i will see you guys in the next one